home and we're moving on now to this very very much contemporary yes. hanging uh, wall art. it's a piece of wall art but it's also a planter so you can use it in a couple different ways this is cool right and i heard you talking about it that you can use this inside or out yeah. absolutely basically this is going to hang on the wall just like you could hang a piece of art mm -hmm. on the wall except that we have these three planter mm -hmm. containers that you're gonna be able to put plants in. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I can't do any more planting, I'm never really good at that, think about this, you, you can put, you, you could actually put your artificial flowers in there, you could put cut flowers in there, you don't have to have growing plants, because what you're creating here is really some wall art, some living wall art with those plants that go in there, and these are gonna attach on these small little metal shelves, they have magnetic bottoms, they have self-watering inserts if you are using those live plants, so it is a great way to go. But Let's show it on the wall, because I think okay. that's important to see exactly how that's going to work okay. on the wall. So there you can see putting it together is a snap. But let's let's go up here All and right. move our rolling cart that's coming up next. Okay. Right and you can there. see how she's doing it. This is exactly what you're going to do when you yeah. get that home. Decide and where you want it to be. I like that they put that on like a trellis. That was nice. Exactly. Was nice Any of those big wall spaces that you have right now, and you're thinking, what am I going to do with that wall space? This makes it easy. So here you can see it on the wall. And again, we just have some little plants in there, but look at this. I can take it off there. There's just a small metal shelf right there. Mm -hmm. There's a magnet. There's a metal bottom in here, magnet, that's going to go right on here. Oh, the look. magnet sticks to the so, metal. So I that's how easy it is to put all three of the planters up there. And you could, as I said, live plants, cut flowers, artificial plants and flowers, whatever it is, you drop those in there, then there's the, the magnet on the bottom, mm -hmm. and it's on there, and you have that really amazing artwork that you can create because it's gonna change them based on whatever type of plants that you put in there. If you do go with the live plants, they have a self-watering bottom mm -hmm. where you can add water in there and then they can water themselves yeah. with that self-watering bottom. So if you want to put growing flowers in there, because imagine growing flowers that start to really fill out mm -hmm. this whole geometric pattern that goes on the wall. So think about those areas. A lot of the areas that I've been thinking about, and even at my house it's true, when you go out the back doors onto the porch or the patio, especially if you have sliding glass doors, you would yeah. have that, you know, a lot of wall space right next to it. Yeah. It's very difficult to find something to go on there. Mm -hmm. That's what this can be. So it can be outdoors, but it certainly could be inside as well. And I like that versatility too, because it is art. It is, can be living art, like you said. Um, and, the, and I'm glad that you mentioned the self-watering because it doesn't have a hole in the bottom of it. Right. But there is on the inside, the way that the canister is made on the inside, the plants are not sitting in water. So no worries exactly. there. Exactly. And I, and I love the idea that even if you want to be able to get to them or or clip them or, or prune them you can hang it in an area that you can actually reach exactly but you could hang a little bit higher you yeah. don't have to be able to to do anything too complicated yeah. all you do you know I can just reach up there and it stays right on done. there so easily. You'll be able to change this constantly throughout the season. So if you want to put different flowers based oh, yeah. on the season or the holidays, I like that. if you're going to put, you know, you want to put red around Christmas time mm -hmm. and, and all those different things are available and you can change it constantly because it is so easy to do. Super easy to hang because it's almost exactly like hanging any framed artwork that you've put on the wall. There's a, there's two little um, areas or, or two little screw hooks that you just drop this on. Mm -hmm. So you measure that, you put the screws in the wall and you hang it on there just like you would a painting. And it is extremely simple to do. Very simple. And I want to tell you, it's it's nice and um, it gives you a lot of presence on the wall. It's right. 46 and three quarters inches um, from side to side. It is 22 and three quarters inches from top to bottom. And with the plants, we're accounting for the depth of the pots. It's about five inches deep. If you choose not to put the pots on there, then it's just a really great piece of wall art, which is nice too. Right. So you can, if you put the plants there like you have it, you've got a really nice long piece. But if you choose to maybe not put the plants there, you can turn it the long way. Sure. It really just depends on how you want to, you know, fill. Maybe you've got empty space, empty wall space that you have inside or outside of the home. Let me also tell you, this price was originally nearly a hundred dollars, nearly a hundred dollars for the same thing that you're getting for less than fifty. So it's fifty percent off.
you've got flex pay, you've got a lot of versatility, and so now you have something for the art lover and the plant lover in your home all in one. Yeah, I think when you see this, or you, if you're watching it right now, you're thinking, oh, that looks really complicated or it's hard to do to really create something like that, especially indoors, you know, how can I manage having plants in there? You can definitely do this. Yeah. It makes it so easy. You mentioned how they don't have the drip holes in there because they have that internal self-watering system. That's going to be perfect because you're not going to have water going everywhere. Mm -hmm. When you do want to water them, you don't have to be struggling up there with something to water them. You can take each one down. You can just bring it to the sink, give it a little bit of water, and then all you do is put it back up there and it yeah, sticks with yeah. that magnet and then you yeah. can do the next one mm -hmm. and keep moving on and on. The magnet is built into the bottom so you don't have to worry about that. But think about those types of plants that you'd like to have inside. Think about what you could create. Maybe it is in that walkway when you or the entrance way to your home and you want to be able to put something that's a little bit larger and a little bit different up there. Yeah. Maybe different than that, that painting and that photo. Mm -hmm. You want to have something that really, you know, maybe it ties in your landscaping that's already outside and you come in yeah. the front door and you can have the same type of landscaping, but now it's hanging on the wall. And it's so simple to do. They're not too big, each one of the small planters, but they're not too small. You can really create a nice, clean, it's a very contemporary look, as we're saying, a modern, mm -hmm. you know, minimalistic look. But with the plants, I mean, that's yeah. something a lot different that maybe you didn't think you could create. With this, you can definitely do it. And that's something, again, that HGTV Home, you would really right. expect them to have the latest and greatest when it comes to home decor ideas. Because when we watch HGTV, that's a lot of times why we're watching. We're looking for the latest thing and what's the newest thing or what are some ideas that the professional designers do. This is what they would do. When you open up um, design magazines, these are the kinds of things that you see on that far wall, on that hallway, in that empty area that most of us would say, well, I don't really know what to put there. This would be a really great option. And like you said, instead of just the regular old painting or the regular picture or the regular mirror, now you have art and you have um, planting and, and plants and greenery and beauty all at the same time. Now, again, I will tell you, when it was the higher price, you were paying closer to $100. Today, at less than 50, at 50% 50 off, we only have a few hundred of these left and then that's it. So if you want it, definitely go for it. If you want a couple of them, because you're thinking, well, I do have a couple of areas that could really benefit here then do it today for sure. Yeah, think about that. Maybe it is the back door when you go out yeah. onto your porch in the backyard. You could put one on either side of the door. Again, you can change the plants. The thing that I wouldn't be afraid of is the plants. Honestly, yeah. you can put anything in here. And I really like the idea of cut flowers and plants. Yeah, you can honestly too. buy the small seedlings from you know your local nursery and just put them in there without even taking them out of the little container that they come and just push them in there you won't be able to see yeah. it it's so much easier to do it that way and then you can change them out quite a bit maybe you grow them a little bit indoors in here and then take them outside or then transplant them into larger pots so you constantly have different plants in here it's very easy remember self-watering on the inside it's got the magnet that's going to support it on that metal shelf yeah. right there and it's very simple but it's a great way to really create something super unique and without this it's like you're saying yeah. it would take the experts from HGTV right. to do it without this but now that you have this get it home and you can create something that really will you know inspire others to do it just like they do on HGTV so this is gonna be your opportunity like you said we're showing you a lot of different ideas so whether it's on a trellis whether it's on a wall indoors or outside maybe it is on that empty area maybe it's gonna be just you know um, along the side of the house that's where everybody comes in and goes and you want something that's a little bit different and you don't have floor space but you do have wall space right this is it. I have a little herb garden it's a really little herb garden I think this would be a really great area for that too because you can easily get to your cuttings yeah. and and, um, and see that grow so I also nice. want to share with you a couple of things that are also still available for you